Hey Sunny, what are you doing? Hi Crystal. I was just wondering if we could use the sun to heat water instead of using this gas powered water heater. Oh sure we can. You know how a regular hot water heater works, right? Well, it's just a big tank of water with a gas burner at the bottom. Cold water comes in one pipe, hot water goes out the other pipe, and goes to all the hot water faucets in the house. Right. Well, one of the simplest ways to heat water with sunlight is to take another tank like this, paint it black to absorb heat better, and then put it outside in the sun to get warm. I don't know about you, Crystal, but I feel another history, history lesson, lesson coming on. Some of the first solar water heaters were developed in the 19th century. These simple batch heaters took all day for the water to get hot, even in the middle of summer. People did not want to wait all day for hot water. So to heat water more quickly, people started using several black tubes instead of just one black tank. They put these tubes inside an insulated box with a glass top, like this. This is a solar collector. The solar collector is really just a tiny room with the water acting as the thermal mass. Here's how it works. There are many types of solar collectors and several ways to connect them to household water systems. Cold water enters this collector at the bottom, is warmed by the sun and rises to the top. In mild climates where freezing is not a problem, solar collectors can be attached in series with regular hot water heaters. A regular water heater uses gas or electricity to heat a tank of water. When a hot water faucet is opened, cold water flows into the bottom of the tank and pushes hot water out the top. To heat water with sunlight, the cold water pipe is attached to the bottom of the solar collector. The hot water from the top of the collector can then be piped into the cold water inlet on the standard water heater. Now when hot water is drawn out of the water heater, it's replaced by preheated water from the solar collector. Wow, that's cool. The solar water heater outside warms the water before it comes to this water heater. Yeah, but it still wastes energy to use this kind of water heater. Why? Because we're keeping this big tank of water hot all the time, just so it'll be ready when we need it. Ah, sort of like keeping your car running all the time, just in case you need to drive somewhere. Is there a way to heat water only when you need it? Yeah, there is, by using a tankless water heater. Look. Instead of a big tank of water, gas-fired tankless water heaters use a metal coil called a heat exchanger. When a hot water faucet opens, a gas burner ignites and rapidly heats the water as it flows through the coil. This system can be up to four times more efficient than a standard gas water heater, and some models can use preheated water from solar collectors. The evacuated tube solar thermal collectors are a very effective way to harvest the sun's heat, and were used by several teams, including the University of Maryland, Washington State University, and the University of Texas at Austin. Because it's efficient, very efficient to convert sunlight to thermal energy and then keep it as thermal energy or heat. Um, there's actually no water in our solar hot water system. Inside the tubes is a copper fin. The fin contains alcohol, which becomes a gas when it heats up. That rises into this opaque manifold at the top. Inside there, there's a copper pipe, and the copper pipe um, contains antifreeze, the same sort of antifreeze that somebody might use in a car. Um, that heats to 350 degrees. That's super hot, so that's why it's insulated in that um, in that large pipe. So when you touch it, you wouldn't get you wouldn't get burned. None of this would get hot, so that's why I can touch it right now. That moves to our water storage tank. Um, that's for uh, space heating needs. We have a radiator with a fan behind it. That's a fan coil unit, and that's how we heat the space. Blowing air over hot water pipes is just one way the teams kept their houses warm on cloudy days. The University of Maryland ran hot water through pipes in the floor and let that heat radiate into the room. Crowder College took a different approach, running hot water through the ceiling instead. Our radiant system is on the ceiling of our house. Just like the sun radiates heat through the vacuum of space down to the earth, we can radiate heat from the ceiling. So it's not like convection heat where it's going to rise and stay at our ceiling level. It is going to actually go from the hotter source down to the cooler source. We can actually put cold water through these tubes as well to absorb the radiant heat out of the house. There's going to be more heat at the top of the ceiling 
it's kind of like an air conditioning unit where you're not really putting cold air into the house, but you're taking the heat out of the air. Like the other teams, Santa Clara University, the California team for the 2007 Solar Decathlon, used sunlight to generate electricity and to heat water. Like some other teams, they used that hot water to heat their building. But like no one else had done before, they used their hot water to cool their building. This is sort of our most innovative feature, yet it's very, uh, very simple. Um, what it is, is um, in an air conditioning unit, that instead of using electricity, it uses hot water. Um, the way this works is we have thermal collectors on the roof that collect very hot water. And this hot water is then stored in a hot water tank. Um, we use that hot water to heat our house, heat our water for our uh, showers or appliances and whatnot, but also to cool our house. Um, the way we cool the house is with this uh, very innovative machine called an absorption chiller. What this machine does is it takes uh, hot water, uh, mixes in lithium bromide salts, and that brings down the temperature of the water to almost freezing temperature. This water is then run through a copper coil and you blow air through it and then you get air conditioning. Um, the, so the beauty of this system is not only that it uses very little electricity, um, you know, air conditioning units are a huge power hog in homes. It's the reason why most uh, power grids go down during the summer is because everybody's running their air conditioning units. Um, but it also works best the hotter it gets. So it's, it's ideal for uh, hot climates like California, Florida, um, Arizona, Texas, uh, because you know, the more heat you get, the more cooling you get.